I made scientific magic chapter 3, Blaney the Witch Hunter. Chapter 3 Blaney the Witch Hunter. In the evening, two uninvited guests ushered in the slums outside the Nordland territory of the Seeker's Empire. The leading man was about 30, wearing a tight leather armor, a long knife hanging from his waist, and dark golden hair hanging behind his head. He seemed out of place with this dilapidated and decayed slum, and naturally attracted countless malicious people in the first place. Yays. Hungry mobs and thieves lurked in the dark, scanning the two of them with their sharp eyes like sharp knives. After seeing the marks of holy light on the clothes of the two, the peeping targets immediately retracted. In the Seeker's Empire, some people may not know the flag of the Empire, but there will never be anyone who does not know the holy light mark. This is the symbol of the messenger of the gods. Besides the clergy wearing temple robes, the only ones with the mark of the holy light on their clothes are witch hunters. It is rumored that every witch hunter has been blessed by the gods and has skills far beyond ordinary people. No one is willing to provoke such a target. Noticing that the figure hiding in the dark disappeared, Andre smiled disdainfully, but the stench faintly emanating from the dilapidated streets and alleys soon made him frown. Sure enough, Bishop Anri okay is right. These wizards are like mice, and they like to hide in such dark and smelly corners. Andre looked at the stains and feces left in the dark corners of the street, and couldn't help covering his eyes. He held his nose and complained. We'd better be more vigilant, Andre, what we need to deal with this time is not an ordinary character, the leading man was a little dissatisfied with Andre's publicity. And couldn't help but remind him. A few days ago, a major incident happened in the Duke of Nordland. A wizard named Kelu tried to seduce the second daughter of the Duke. Fortunately, the guards who were stationed discovered it in time, which prevented the young daughter of the Duke of Nordland from being killed by the devil. The witch. The tragedy of that encirclement and suppression battle is still vivid in my mind. In order to capture this daring wizard, the Duke of Nordland dispatched two whole brigades of guards to pursue him. Even so, he still suffered heavy losses. In the end, if the Bishop of the Holy See hadn't arrived, the Duke of Nordland's face would probably be ashamed. I'm going to throw it all away. And their target this time is the other party's apprentice, who is also a wizard. Don't worry, Blaney, Andre said with a sneer. This time we are only dealing with an apprentice wizard who has only been in contact with magic for a few months. These people usually only know one or two small tricks. Believe me, a farmer wielding a asterisk 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 is more difficult to deal with than them. Since joining the witch hunting team for more than half a year, he has participated in several hunting operations against wizards. At the very beginning, Andre could be terrified of the legendary wizards who were inspired by the devil. However, after getting in touch with them, Andre discovered that those wizards were not as terrifying as he imagined, and most of them were not a threat. Their magic power was limited, and some were not even as reliable as snipers and long swords. As for those apprentices who are not good at learning, they can only be described as trash. Once they are distracted, they will not be able to cast magic in battle and can only be slaughtered. What satisfied Andre the most was that the bounty for capturing these wizards was very high, and the Duke of Nordland was even more generous. If he captured an apprentice alive, he could get a full six Seekers gold coins, which was enough for them to spend extravagantly. It's been a while, of course, if killed, it is only worth half the price. Blaney glanced at Andre, but he didn't refute, but he didn't let go of the vigilance in his heart. In his impression, those witch hunters who believe in intelligence often don't live long. The slums outside Nordland are not that big, and the circulation of people is even less. Relying on his identity as a witch hunter, Andre confirmed the hiding place of the target from a homeless man with a little threat. It was a building that was difficult to describe as a house. Green vines grew over the red brick walls, and the door looked even more precarious, as if it would collapse with a slight push. The target he was looking for was right in front of him, but neither of the two present had any intention of acting immediately. Andre cast a glance at his partner, cursed secretly in his heart, and took the initiative to press his palm on the door, his callous knuckles pulled the door bolt hard. And the seemingly crumbling door stood still, obviously someone blocked the back of the door with something. Andre felt ruthless in his heart, and kicked on the door with all his strength. There was a violent impact sound, and the door shattered, revealing the scene of the inner room. The narrow house lacks care and looks messy, with garbage piled up in the corners. A candle was lit on the wooden table beside it. It was probably disturbed by the wind caused by the violent break-in of the door. The weak candle light flickered twice and then went out. The originally bright room suddenly became very dark, with only a little twilight shining through the wide open windows, and the worn-out blanket on the bed could be seen being dragged to the ground. Extending to the window, Blaney, who followed, scanned the room, and his eyes were quickly attracted by the note that fell on the ground. Advanced Gate Andre also noticed this, bent down to pick up the crumpled note, and after seeing the content on it, his face became very ugly. Damn it, it looks like we are late, this kid has already met other apprentices. Andre said angrily, combined with the environment in the house, he immediately imagined what happened. The target they captured, the wizard apprentice, received the news before he arrived, and ran away before he could pack his things in time. But judging from the unextinguished candle and the remaining warmth on the bed, the other party should not have gone far. Thinking of this, Andre was very anxious. Even if he was about to leave, these were six Seeker's gold coins, and he must not just run away like this. Once the other party joins other wizard apprentices, it will be difficult to catch them. Of course, in comparison, Andre is more worried that the target will be caught by other bounty hunters halfway. And many more, just when Andre was in a hurry to chase after him through the window, Blaney reached out and stopped him. With the former's impatient expression, he pointed to the desk beside him. Andre turned his head and looked over. In addition to the extinguished candle, there were more than a dozen copper coins and manuscript paper with strange characters and patterns scattered on the table. After a little thought, Andre quickly understood what his companion meant. If the apprentice wizard left after receiving the news, it would be impossible to leave behind the coins that were easy to carry, let alone these, precious, magic manuscripts up. Andre, who had the experience of hunting wizards, knew very well that most wizards would rather die than protect their so-called research notes. In other words, the other party is probably still hiding in this room. Andre sneered, the traces of blankets on the ground, the wide open windows, and the falling notes all hinted that the other party had fled. Obviously this wizard apprentice played a good trick, trying to mislead him to other places, maybe it was a trap, and he was almost fooled. At this moment, Lin En, who was hiding in the darkness, broke out in cold sweat, and his spirit became more and more excited in this fatal crisis. And the divergent spirit continued to spread to the surroundings under the influence of magic power. It can even influence the flow of air to a certain extent so as to extinguish the candle, and there will be no sound when breathing. 
It is thanks to this that he can hide under the eyes of the two witch hunters. Blaney ignored the awakened Andre, looked around the room, and soon looked at the dark red cabinet next to the vertical window. This cabinet is only shoulder high, covered with dust on the surface, very close to the open window, it is not very eye-catching in this dilapidated and airtight hut. But it is enough to accommodate a curled up adult man. Thanks to bookfriend DSF23DD for the reward of 1500 starting coins, bookfriend 20 quadrillion 180 trillion 200